Hi everyone, so this is very exciting for me because I'm launching some brand new lipstick colours and it's always a happy time for me as well because it's when I finally get to see my babies come to life and this time round I've got seven new shades of the luxuriously lucent lip colours and I've got three new shades of the insanely saturated colours so they're going to be joining the existing shades and it just means that the family of shades is growing which makes me very very happy. So I'm going to start with the Luxuriously Lucents and the shade Je Ne Sais Quoi because that's the shade that I'm wearing. So I've called it Je Ne Sais Quoi because it is one of those slightly indescribable colours although it's a coral it's more of a muted creamy coral it's not a classic um, almost vintagey corals like dance card for example where it does have those blue undertones and the pinkiness and almost a pastel vibe it doesn't have that so it's something which it manages to sort of bring vibrancy to the face and enlivens the skin but without actually being a really really bright shade itself so there's something enlivening within it but um, the shade itself is quite a muted wearable coral I would say it's more on the warm side of coral as well so it's more one of those warm coral tones but again it has got those mixes of pinks and a hint of the brown in as well so you get something which um, is ultimately wearable so that's how it looks in the tube so you can see that it looks probably a little bit deeper than it does when it goes on the lips um, and because it is sheer and you can just build it up I'll just put another coat on so yeah it's probably like a good four or five swipes on there now so you can see once it's built up that's the color so I just love this it's kind of it manages to bring that real summery vibrancy without being too bright if that makes sense. So here's how it looks on me and here's how it looks on some other skin tones. This new shade of Luxuriously Lucent is called Le Mepris and this is straight out of a Jean-Luc Godard masterpiece. Think about Brigitte Bordeaux, tousled hair, pouting. This shade is just the most sublimely nuanced soft beige hue. Now I'm wearing it with fawn lip liner again just a little bit around the edge and again you can just build up. I mean it's one of those beige hues that's really I think wearable because I usually can't wear those beigey toned lipsticks because they tend to wash me out a little bit whereas I can wear this one. It just has enough colour in it to give you that vibe but without draining the life out of you. So that is Le Mepri. And here's how it looks on some other skin tones. So the next shade of Lucent is called Rosy Shell. And you can see this is just the most beautiful, pretty, pretty pink shade. And my inspiration for this shade were the Rosy Cup seashells. And these are just such beautiful seashells that you can find on beaches, which are white. And then they have a sort of swirl of pink on the outside of the shell and I just thought they were so beautiful and I thought well I'd love to do a lipstick exactly that colour. So it is a very very delicate pink. Um, I'm wearing it with the petal lip liner. You don't need to wear any of these with lip liners but for me when I wear the lighter shades so um, the more beigey tones or the lighter pinks I prefer to wear a, um, a lip liner but you don't need to. So this is probably three swipes of rosy shell and it gives you a pink which is again it's light but it's it's got cool and warm tones it's a little bit more cool than warm but it's not too blue that it's almost jumping off your lips. There is a subtlety to it again and I think it's um, for this kind of really delicate light pink shade again it's very wearable. So this is rosy shell on me and here's how it looks on some different skin tones. So on to meet me in Berlin and this is a deliciously tawny tan shade. This is one that just works across all skin tones as a brown nude whether you're wearing one swipe 
which I've got probably one swipe on now. Whether you want to wear it with a lip liner, whether you want to build it up to give more intensity and make it browner. So the inspiration for the name was, um, it's based on a shoot that I did in the late 90s, early 2000s, I think it was around 2000, 2001. And it was for a Prada campaign and it was a big campaign for me. And we shot it all in East Berlin, which at that time was really raw and edgy and underground. And we shot in all these amazing locations. Ridley Scott was the director and his daughter. And it was just an amazing model who turned 21. We party, we went to nightclubs. All the nightclubs were in office buildings and in people's houses. It was just so, it was just brilliant. And this shade really reminds me of that time because it just has that avant-garde, that counterculture feel to it. I'm just gonna put one more layer on just so you can see actually now that I've got my liner on, how it looks when well, it's built up. And you can just see, you can you can build up for that richness if that's what you want. But it's just a really beautiful shade. So that is Meet Me in Berlin. And here's how it looks on a variety of skin tones. Mm, this beautiful shade is called Palazzo and it's the most, gorgeous red which is inspired by the interiors of the Italian palazzo so whether they are in Rome or in Venice you know that rich kind of it's sophisticated like a renaissance portrait but it's also quite an exhilarating color so I'm thinking like whizzing through the streets of Rome on a Vespa and it's it's neutral so it suits so many different skin tones I'm not wearing it with a lip liner I'm just wearing it directly straight onto the lips and um, it's just a really for me like a perfect red it's your very own roman holiday this is palazzo and this is how it looks on some different skin tones roll up roll up for our next shade and this is called wonder wheel and it's a really deliciously juicy popsicle pink shade this one really reminds me of that just mouth-wateringly just that lolly ice thing that you have on the beach in July and it also reminds me of the old-fashioned fairgrounds that you go to which is why I called it Wonder Wheel it really reminds me of that and heady nostalgic fun of summer and, and the ferris wheels so this is a really beautiful shade for summer and I really like using it as well I've, I've applied it here without any lip liner so this is just as it goes so I've built this one up to make it extra juicy. I also like this on the cheeks as well. So I'm just gonna show you applying a little bit on the back of my hand and onto a brush. If you want that extra pop of pink on the cheeks, that extra um, popsicle pink. It's the nice colour, but also that satiny finish gives a nice dewy pink look as well. So that is Wonder Wheel. And here's how it performs on a variety of skin tones. Last but not least of the new Lucent shades is this one, which is called Night Thoughts. And this is a real creme de cassis. It's got a heart of darkness, this one. It's a really sensuous black cherry shade that will suit everyone. My personal favorite way to apply it is just to do one swipe like this, and then almost just rub it into my lips, which gives you this mauvey, just bitten lip look but you can also build it up and have it as dark as you want, I'll show you. I haven't used a lip liner with this one, so it's entirely up to you if you want to use a lip liner. Also looks really nice if you sort of give, do a really soft edge, so I've got quite a soft edge here, because I kind of patted it in, which gives you that really natural look as well. But if you want to, you can build it up. So you can see, you can get a lot more depth if you just keep going. So that is Night Thoughts, and it's as deep and profound as conversations with friends in the dead of the night. And here's how it looks on some other skin tones.
So as I say, that's the last of the seven new shades of Luxuriously Lucent, but there are already seven beautiful existing shades, and some of them recently came back into stock. So we still have the incredible Atomic Cherry, Love of My Life, Kitten Mischief, Spirited Away, Painterly, Dance Card, and oh, Rose Official. So there's now 14 shades of the luxuriously lucent lip colors to enjoy. So I'm now gonna move on to the Insanely Saturated. So on to the Insanely Saturated. Now previously I only had two shades in this formula, Skyscraper Rose and Rainbow Spill, and both were so popular. Beautiful, beautiful, bright pink shades. Now they are finally back in stock, so that's, very good news because we've been waiting for ages to get those two shades back in so rainbow spill and skyscraper rose i'm not actually going to put on today but you can see it on the website you can see it on all different skin tones and um i made a previous youtube video that i can link to as well where you can see me applying those shades so i'm going to help those two shades out by bringing three new shades so it's going to be joined by three new friends and I'm wearing the first of the three new shades of Insanely Saturated and this one is called Sunday Matinee. So this is a really beautiful medium pink. It is not too warm, not too cool. Um, and it is, it's just a really easy going. I've called it Sunday Matinee because I feel like it's as easy as a Sunday morning. It's one of those shades that doesn't feel too try hard and it does have um yeah just an ease to it really and the formula of insanely saturated is they're sort of matte but very very creamy so um they are more of a luminous sheeny matte i'd say so you have that creaminess you definitely have that incredible payoff which is why they're called insanely saturated but there's quite a creamy creamy feel to them so they have shea butter in and avocado oil so although you're getting that payoff and ultimately more of a matte finish it's a very sheeny luminous creamy formula so this is the first of the three new shades and this one is called sunday matinee and here's how it looks on some different skin tones next new shade and this is strawberry shock this is what I would describe as a sun-filtered red. So it's quite a soft red in some ways, but it does have at its heart a punk pink extreme, ex something extreme underneath because you feel like it's got this really bright undertone, but then that's masked by this sort of soft surface. Um, it's a real strawberry daiquiri kind of a shade and I would describe it as a true Goldilocks of a red because it's neither too warm or too cool. So it has both of those going on, but it doesn't feel too yellowy. It doesn't feel too blue. It just feels right there in the middle. It is the Goldilocks red. Um, and it really brightens up the face. I find it to be such a beautiful shade, especially, especially for summer. I haven't used any... Um, lip liner of course you could if you wanted to but i did use a lip brush just to perfect those edges so that is strawberry shock and here's how it looks on a variety of skin tones so the last new shade of insanely saturated and in fact the last new shade i'm showing you today from all my new colors and this is called new wave i'm going to apply this actually just to show you straight from the bullet Look at that. Mm. This is an unashamedly bold, oh, I shouldn't talk and I'm putting lipstick on, magenta. These are so creamy, these lipstick. They are packed with pigment. For that reason, keep them wound down when you're applying them. Don't apply them all the way up. I'm actually gonna do this with a lip um, instead of using a lip brush, I put that on, sorry, quite badly. I'm going to use a lip, instead of using a lip pencil rather, I'm going to use a lip brush and just do my shape with this. I 
So I'm just taking it around the edges. Now oh, this texture just smooths all the little lines and dry patches in your lips. So I'm just getting my shape good. I love this colour. Look at my teeth, so white. So that is New Wave. So how did this one get its name and how would I describe it? I would describe this as modern yet classic, subversive yet soft. It's got those really cool blue undertones, which gives you the white teeth but it's got definitely an edgy glamour to it. I feel like it's got that electronica chic. I'm thinking of that kind of music, kind of, I'm thinking about music for some reason, and um, that's definitely where it got its name. It's, it's a new wave band. It's, it's definitely got that edgy glamour to it, and I love this colour. It also works on absolutely all skin tones. All of the models loved this colour um, and I've used it on so many different people and it seems to just suit everyone. So if you're looking for some edgy glamour, New Wave is your colour. And here's how it performs on a variety of skin tones. So that's it, 10 new shades of lipsticks, seven new luxuriously lucent, and three new shades of insanely saturated. So now there are 14 shades of luxuriously lucent and five shades in total of the insanely saturated. So I don't release new shades very often, so I'm very excited that there are 10 shades together and I hope and I'm sure that you'll agree it's been worth the wait. There are shades for whether you like a soft tone, something more neutral, something more natural looking, or whether you wanna go full power on color, um, then you'll find something I'm sure that you are going to absolutely love. And if for any reason you are in um, London, my new pop-up opens, it's in Covent Garden again, right in the center this time in the piazza. Um, so you can go and see and try on the colors. If not, head over to my website because there's loads more information on my website. You can see all the different girls wearing the colors and also head over to my Instagram where you'll be able to watch live stories um, and see how the colors look on so many different people. And um, I'm excited and I'm sure you're gonna love them. So enjoy.